get to her office in Makati, Beth Del Rosario leaves Quezon City at 5 a.m. She either takes a city bus, enduring heavy EDSA traffic, or she tries to squeeze into the already overcrowded MRT train. But these days, Del Rosario has another option, the newly launched point-to-point -point express bus. It's a little more expensive than a normal bus, but the payoff is worth it. Sa MRT kasi you'll be more stressed going to work, stress ka na sa work, stress ka pa sa ano ka meet mo dito. Since it's not crowded, tapos I think naman hindi sila magpapatay ng mga tao. Mas okay siya, mas less yun, stress. I think naman uh, people wouldn't mind being a little more if it's more convenient, it's faster. Today, she gets on the double-decker bus, which held its first dry run along EDSA on Thursday. The bus left at exactly 8 a.m., rush hour on EDSA. It got off to a good start, but slowed down when it reached Cubao and Artigas. At 9.15 a.m., the bus pulled in at Glorieta 5 in Makati City. The entire ride took 75 minutes, 15 minutes less than the usual 90-minute trip. Sa passengers, katulad ko, ano siya, sobrang Okay siya. Tapos kung mas da, madaming magpapatronize, ano, ano, feeling ko naman mas maraming, eh mas mag, ano siya, mas masustain siya. Tapos it will, ano, yung mga ibang buses outside or other, ano, parang magtiting twice na rin sila sa service nila. Eh, service na ibibigay nila. Kasi eh, syempre may, eh, may competition na sila na mas better. Getting car users to take the bus is a challenge transportation officials have been trying to address as they grapple with the worsening traffic chaos in Metro Manila. The premium bus service hopes to attract car owners with the promise of a fast, cheap, and comfortable ride. The bus is clean and air-conditioned, and passengers get guaranteed seats. It leaves on time whether or not the bus is full and makes no stops along the way. For transport advocate James Mangan, it's a preview of what a modern bus system could look like in Metro Manila. We're trying to change that actual um, bus culture of it being, um, you know, held a ride. So instead of um, taking the taking your car, why not take this? Take the car out on the weekends. That way, we reduce actual traffic. Because what we don't realize is that all of us, me, you, and everyone commuting and driving on it, so it is traffic. With the positive feedback from passengers, transport agencies are hoping more bus operators will adopt the point-to-point -point model. The new service isn't perfect. It's still dependent on how good or bad its traffic could be. But the DOTC believes that it's a step forward in their goal of moving more people instead of more cars. Caterina Francisco, Rappler, Manila.